Holly was amazing. She was very faithful and she was very strong. She was kind of the backbone for all of us. She was a lot of fun. She loved having her friends over. And she was just so fun to be around. And she just always would make you laugh. She was very focused. And so she had like kind of planned out she wanted to be a CPA like her dad. Cared so much about being an aunt. It was like her favorite thing. Happy, cheerful, never letting anything get to her. I have missed this moment time and time again. Don't wanna waste another minute Cause a minute's enough to change I hear the sound of a heartbeat begging For heaven to come my way, yeah She'd gone off to school her freshman year at Oshkosh and she was complaining about stomach aches and it just, you know, continued and then we decided to take her in and that's when we got the bad news. Dr. Shellman, she asked him how much time and he said, no, a year with treatment, six weeks without treatment. First thing she said wasn't like, why me? But the first thing that came out of her mouth was like, the boys won't remember me. She, the first thing went to was those nephews. Because they were the love of her life. She never once complained about, you know, that she was in a bad spot. She just thought in terms of, all right, what else can we do? That drive, that determination, that uh, strength. I mean, you couldn't help but be in awe of that. Mm -hmm. So that campaign, it was just, just a distraction she needed. And, you know, her phone just blew up. I think that gave her an idea that people recognized her story. There was a Santa Claus that did it. Someone's pregnant belly <laughs> <laughs> did it. Um, I guess probably the coolest was Donald Driver tweeted it. That was my favorite. And you found out this morning that you will be doing what? I will be meeting Justin Bieber backstage at his concert on Saturday. She's meeting yeah. Justin Bieber! <laughs> It had such a reach and so many followers and it exploded so quickly. And she was like, this has to be for a reason and we should start a, a charity. And, you know, she wanted to have an event, a race. And then it was, what are we gonna call it? And, you know, it was, well, Allie's Honky Tonk Hustle. If there was a way for her to do something so that other families didn't have to go through what she did or what we did, she wanted to do that, and, and so I think that was kind of her goal. It was such a rare cancer that she wanted them to have options. You don't really think that at 19 years old, someone's gonna tell you that your stomach aches are cancer. So I think it, it took a long time to actually settle in, but once it kind of sunk in, I decided that I wanted to stay positive and fight this head on, and that this was put in my life for a reason, so now I'm really into doing cancer research charity work. The UW Carbone Cancer Center here in Madison um, is doing a lot of research with it, so shout out to them. The UW Carbone Cancer Center is one of 50 or so comprehensive cancer centers in the country. A huge part of what we do here is research, and that is clinical research where we're actually enrolling patients onto clinical trials, studying new therapies or new ways of understanding the extent of patients' cancer, such as imaging. The care we provide here is really cutting edge. You know, when we started uh, with Allie, we really had one treatment option, and it wasn't very good. Now we have a lot of newer therapies that are better targeted. We better understand how the disease biology works. We can target those treatments a lot better than we used to. 
And with this therapy, um, what we've seen is that it's giving patients extra years of life that they wouldn't otherwise have, have had. And so it has been a huge um, advantage for many patients with neuroendocrine tumors. I met my husband, David, because we're both part of the deaf community in Madison. He was the guy that wanted to see people laugh. He didn't worry about the little things in life and he just tried to live every day. In 2015, my husband was diagnosed with neuroendocrine tumors and he passed in April of 2021. So just over six years. It meant everything to, to the kids and I, to his parents, to the family, it just meant everything to have more time together. He had good quality of life. When we heard about Allie's story and that she had the same neuroendocrine tumors that David had, it really inspired him. I think he realized and he understood that Allie didn't have the opportunities that he had. So he was really appreciative and always thankful to the Wolf family for continuing her fight. When you lose a family member, it's like losing a limb. It never goes away, you're always missing them. And so when you hear the work that Allie put in, what she left us with is impacting another family and that was all she ever wanted, it keeps us going. It's everything. Every dollar we raise ends up in the hands of a researcher uh, here at the Carbone Cancer Center. We can't get the National Cancer Institute to fund a large multi-institution trial. We need small-scale preclinical trials to prove the concept, to prove that this may work. So donating to things like the Wolf Foundation are so important because we can start with big ideas on a small scale and then scale it up where, you know, $1 turns into $5 of federal funding. So an example of that, historically only about 10% of patients' cancers can actually be grown in a plastic dish. And so we developed a technique where we can actually grow the cancers in a, for lack of a better way of saying it, a jello mold. So what we're able to do now is grow over 80% of patients' cancers. When we have a cure for cancer, that's when we'll stop. So you're helping so many people have more time and have hope as families that there's something better than what Allie had when she was diagnosed. Her legacy is making the world a better place by what she has been able to accomplish. I think she's done it. I just know that she's never going to be forgotten. I, I've got that peace. My aunt has been always very caring of others, and so that's just kind of inspired me to carry on her legacy and be there for my friends and family around me. Never forget her. She was my best friend. To be able to sit there with a patient and say, this is a new option for you, and this is a new option for you because other people cared. It means the world to me, it means the world to the patient sitting in front of me. Live every day to the fullest, and if you just keep positive and make goals, um, it should work out for you. I eat the sound.